did that performance feel? Yeah. Good energy from the audience. Yeah. yeah. I had a blast. Had a good time. Fantastic. Yeah, it was great audience. Great audience. It was a it's room good. full of laughers, which is what we really needed. Yes. Each audience gives you something different. This came out of an exercise in class. I read it. I loved it. Really connected with it. To be able to add the elements of like hip hop to this, to be able to bring that and a little bit of like the Jimi Hendrix kind of feel was just awesome. Why bring Wheel of Invention to the Fringe? It's the perfect venue for it because there's so many diverse different plays and this is a weird one, but there's so many other weird ones, it kind of fits at home with all the weirdness. I'd always wanted to do French after seeing a show when I first moved here. It just sort of like stuck with me. You never think of kids doing Titus Andronicus. It fits so. exactly with What's the that, rest Teresa of the Fringe Festival, and we're going to try to show it to as many people as possible. I think that Fringe is about community, and that's what we wanted to be a part of. Also see other shows and just really have fun for the month. In festivals, we're seeing a lot of theater. People who might not want to go out in search of like absurdist humor are happy to stumble upon it. Connecting with Meeting people. Meeting a lot of people. And everybody's really actually Nice and nice and committed to community and super supportive. <laughs> and if you're an adult and you know Shakespeare very well and you're very into that, you yeah, it will really surprise yeah. you to see kids and doing Shakespeare. And it's Shakespeare's like, bloody place, so it's more bloody. What was your favorite part of performing this piece? I got to do a Boston accent. He's the only one out of all of us that can do it too. So. I, I mean, I used, aside. <laughs> I used to work at the place that we're parodying, so for me to get to really amp up the sunshine and happiness. No, this is my <laughs> first time doing Lobster Man. I was doing Light and Sound before for the last two weekends. So it was just fun to get up here and play around with these guys. The bear pedophilia is fun. <laughs> I'm the pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sweater. Right now? Drink. <laughs> so we're going to celebrate a good show and community and love and people and all the good, all the good stuff. Yeah. All the good reasons to, to hang out on a Saturday night. We're um, going back to a... Uh, shower. Night. We're shower going for me. to uh, a hotel. Yeah, we're going with them to swim. Yeah. Oh, out, so the next one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> Party. If you like what you just watched, make sure you subscribe below, all right? And follow us on all social media. Do it.